Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to take apart and put back together the front brakes uh, on this uh, 2003 Subaru Outback, same as any 2000-2004 at 1A Auto. We do sell new brake kits for this, so this will go along nicely if you buy a new set of brakes from us. Uh, the uh, the brakes on this vehicle happen to be in good shape, so we just take them apart and put them back together to show you. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 14, 17, and 19 millimeter sockets, although your uh, tire iron can substitute for that 19 millimeter socket. You'll need a ratchet plus a breaker bar or a pipe for some extra leverage, a large screwdriver or a small pry bar, large hammer, a large C-clamp, wire brush, and a torque wrench. Okay, start out, if you don't have air tools, start out with your vehicle on the ground. Uh, loosen lug nuts first, then raise and support the vehicle and remove the lug nuts and wheel and tire and your tire iron or a 19 millimeter socket and ratchet. Okay, either grab the tie rod and the suspension and turn the wheel or turn the steering wheel. You're now looking in behind, okay, you can see right through this little check hole and I'll show you. You can see the road we're moving there okay, and then next to it is the pad. Here's the inner pad that actually is in pretty good shape. Um, but what we're going to do is take the caliper off and you can actually pull on the caliper. Try pulling on it a little bit, okay, which, try, which forces the piston back in. You can also use a screwdriver. I'll show you that in a minute. But you want to remove this bolt and this bolt here. Okay, take out a large screwdriver, put it right in here, and pry out. Okay, that forces the piston back in and loosens this up a little bit. Now you want to use a 14 millimeter socket with a ratchet and these bolts should not be on too tight. So they come apart pretty easily. And just speed up here as I remove those bolts the rest of the way. Bolts come out and the caliper comes right off. Now. Okay, and here are our pads. Okay, you can actually see there's quite a bit left. The brakes are in pretty good shape. The front pad comes out, the rear pad comes out. Again, same thing. These pads have a good life left. Next is the rotor. Okay, you'll want to remove two larger bolts. Okay, one here and one right down here. Okay, so these are 17 millimeter. These are a 17 millimeter socket. I'm gonna put my ratchet on there. Okay, use a breaker bar or I'm using a piece of pipe with my ratchet. Pipe gives me a little extra leverage. Pull up nice and easy until the bolt breaks free. Okay. Okay, because of the position of this upper one, it's a little tougher to get to. I'm going to put a 17 millimeter wrench on it. Okay, and use an 18 millimeter wrench and lock it on. And then again, like the pipe, I'm going to pull up um, slowly okay, until it breaks free. Fast forward here again as we just remove uh, those bolts the rest of the way. And after you remove the bolts, just take the bracket right off. Okay, at this point you may need a hammer. Okay, if you're replacing your rotors, you're not too worried about it. You can just really bang it from the outside. Sometimes what you may need to do is put your lug nuts back on. And what I'm using, doing here is using the ball side of my hammer and you want to beat on the 
uh, rotor in the hub area. You want to avoid contacting the actually the area where the brake um, the brake pads contact the rotor. Uh, you don't want to put dents or divots in that area because that can affect your braking. Uh, that's if you're reusing if you are reusing your disc. If you're not reusing your disc, you can actually feel free to uh, bang on it from the outside. But the reason you hit it here is that actually breaks the hub free from, or the, sorry, the rotor free from the hub. Now you can see I'm hitting it much more lightly from the back side because it's free from the hub and now it's coming off. Okay, and as, as soon as I see it pretty much breaking loose, you can see it move pretty well there. Now I'm going to remove the lug nuts and then remove the rotor. So the pads and rotor are, or the pads and rotors on this car are in good shape. So we are just putting it back together with with its original parts. Uh, I'm not going to waste new parts on a car that doesn't need it. Okay. Next, you'll want to take uh, your caliper bracket, and there's stainless steel slides. Use a screw, you know, use a wire brush, and just clean out the slides where the uh, brake pads contact them. Okay, now put this bracket back in, keep the top bolt in. Speed it up as we uh, first tighten those bolts as much as we can with the fingers and then preliminarily tighten them with uh, a wrench. Okay, these two bolts should be tightened to 90 foot pounds. The bottom one's easy to get a torque wrench on. Okay, the top one, again, can't really get a torque wrench on it. Use my wrenches. Tighten it up. Tight and pull it. Okay, kind of estimated. Okay, the way front brakes adjust is as the pads wear down, these pistons work their way up and out of um, the caliper. So, what you need to do is force those pistons back in. I generally put the old inner pad back on like that. And then I use a large C-clamp. Okay. Put that in place. And with the tab, it forces both calipers back down in. So I put the C-clamp on, now here I'm just kind of readjusting it more to the center of the caliper so it uh, pushes both pistons back in equally. As you saw, our pads are in pretty good shape, so we're going to reinstall the old ones, just showing you how to do this. Uh, you generally want to install uh, the, this one with the, uh, this wear indicator on the inside. Uh, pointed down, so just put them right back in. Okay. All right back in. Okay, now uh, one other thing you want to check is on these caliber brackets, these uh, slides where the uh, cal bolts on should move nice and easily, and they do. If they don't, you just pull them right out, clean them up, put a little grease on them, and put them back together. Okay, put the caliper back on, push these slides in, the caliper goes down in place. 
speed it up here as I put the two 14 millimeter bolts back in and tighten them preliminarily just by my fingers. Okay, and this should be tightened up to anywhere from 19 to 21 foot pounds. Speed it up here again as I straighten out the steering, put the wheel on, uh, put the lug nuts on by hand first, just make sure you don't cross thread them, and then use your wrench to just preliminary. Okay, we're done with this side. We're going to torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds using a star pattern. Uh, you always want to you replace your brakes in pairs, so the uh, procedure is the same for the other side. Uh, after this, there is one more step. Pump your brakes to get a firm pedal, then do test stops from 5 and 10 miles an hour. Make sure the brakes are working before road testing the vehicle. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.